Griffith had been attacked by reformers and he couldn't stand reformers anyway. And they, they were his main target in Mother and the Law. But the curious thing was that he was a reformer himself. He attacked, he at, uh, attacked capital punishment in Mother and the Law. He attacked prohibition in the crucifixion story and uh, religious intolerance in the Huguenot story. Um, but the most extraordinary thing for 1915 when he shot this picture is he singled out John D. Rockefeller, perhaps the most famous man in America, as the villain, the capitalist villain of the modern story. Now Rockefeller, he felt was well, indeed, he, he had been responsible for the Ludlow Massacre when strikers at a mine were machine gunned by the National Guard. Their camp was machine gunned, set alight, and 11 children and two pregnant women were killed. And this was blamed by the left on Rockefeller. And we know if you were alive in that period, you would recognize who it was meant to be immediately because the man playing the part picks up a coin from the sidewalk and and Rockefeller always said that was the start of his his fortune no wonder it appealed to the Russians when they saw it they were absolutely overwhelmed they'd never seen American authority so attacked on the screen and Lenin offered Griffith the chance to run the Russian film industry. Griffith used no script. He kept it all up here. And he trained a mass of assistant directors. They turned out to be the next great a uh, tranche of directors in the 30s and 40s, people like Victor Fleming, who made Gone with the Wind, W.S. Van Dyke, who made San Francisco, Sidney Franklin, who made uh, The Good Earth. In fact, Sidney Franklin told me something about this picture, which is, which is worth repeating. Uh, he said, there were a thousand idiots on the walls of Babylon throwing down burning oil and big rocks made of plaster of Paris. Well, if one of them hit you, it could kill you. They were dropping so many things that no one could get to the walls. I was in charge of a group of 500. And since I was out in front, I made a speech. Come on, boys, don't be afraid to approach the walls. Follow me. I'd no sooner got the words out of my mouth than a rock came hurtling from 50 feet up and struck my shield. The shield knocked me cold, and my 500 extras went the other way. My mother came across from the studio and said, is my son in there? Yes, they told her, his brains are all over the lot.